It's day two at the Dallas Card Show. Yesterday was an awesome day and I did some great deals, but there's a problem. I'm almost out of cash. So today, I gotta get creative with some trades or selling some of my key cards. Of course, this episode is brought to you by eBay. eBay is your number one source for cards and collectibles with the largest inventory of sports cards from basketball to soccer and buyers from all over the globe. eBay is the leading place to buy, sell, and invest your cards. All right, so we got a crazy piece of history here, something you don't often find at card shows. We usually do sports here, but now we got Benjamin Franklin. So this is a Benjamin Franklin authentic autograph. So what's the interest level in this? People are coming around saying that it might be one of the most interesting pieces at the show right now. Wow, look at that. You see, it actually pays to do something a little different. Matt has figured that out. He's got a little something different going on in his case. It's attracting a lot of attention. Awesome, man. I hope you get a good deal for it before the show ends. Soccer. I, I, my team is more than me. They're trying to pull me into it here, but yeah. could I see the Polistics and the McKinney's from the case? Yeah. Soccer's gotten bigger and bigger. So All right, let's. Mia Ham. Oh, Mia Ham. I know. Yes. I saw Mia Ham. Yes, Mia Ham. Timmy Howard. No. Not as in a Timmy Howard. I'm not. Well, Timmy Howard. You know. He's a goalie. So he's a goalie, he was. So it's yeah. a little harder. Yeah. It's a goalie. Goalie on the teams that didn't do well. This is the future. Yeah, true. Except for Mia Hamm, who's a goat, so. All right, let me put these down here. All right, so this is, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm learning soccer as we go here. So this is, this is, uh, uh, Weston McKinney's essentially kind of his rookie year, right? This he is had considered. A, he had an 18. He had an 18? Okay, so this is the second year, but that's the refractor pop five right there. This is the future stars from 19, pop 10. So obviously, soccer stuff is super low population. Soccer cards, especially if you go back before like this year, there weren't many of them made. So if you can pick up key cards, they're super low pop stuff, and that could be really good if market demand continues to pick up. That's the field level from that year. That's like a pop like 30, I want to say. Yeah, and that's a 10. Interesting. That's a pop. I think that's up to 30 pop now. That's the last night. Pop 31. Okay. So how did you... What do you have that one priced at? This? Yeah. So we don't have much to go off. The Miami show, we sold the green to 99 for a thousand yeah, dollars. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's kind of the starting number on it. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. All right. So give me, give me a collective price on all of this. I've been taking heavy heavy discount on. Uh, took a heavy discount, 37.4, okay. That's like, I did this. You feel that's a very fair price for all of this? Yeah, I did this at 1200. Just for the nine. Okay, that sounds fair. You got a deal. Appreciate it. Absolutely. So sometimes, you know, what you should do is do your due diligence and, and really understand the market. But sometimes if you're trying to buy a big lot of cards, if you're trying to buy multiple cards from the same dealer, oftentimes the dealer will cut you a little bit of a break. And if you ask them, hey, what kind of deal could you get me if we do a bulk? Sometimes they'll price things out. If it sounds like a really fair deal, and I know Brian here is a really fair guy, then sometimes you just say, I'm going with gut. I like the deal. Let's get the deal done. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Now I'll be officially drained of cash. Maybe I'll sell a card. Yeah. All right, let's go, let's go. Soto Market's actually been down some recently, which I think is a mistake. He's an incredible player. That Gatorade bath card, that's a really, really cool card. You know what you never see? Like, Do you remember ProVision inserts? So, yeah. Do you remember Kevin from yesterday? The guy, the trade that didn't work out. Yeah, yeah. He just texted. He said that he uh, he asked if we still have the bird, which you do. You still have the bird, and that he's still interested. He wants to make a deal. Oh, he wants to do a deal now. He wants to do a deal now. Oh, okay. Let's go see what Kevin's we'll do a got. Deal? Okay. So guys, we're gonna move to A two. Kevin, good to see you again. What's going on? I thought our deal was dead. I thought it was dead. Uh, yeah, I, took, I'll, yeah, I was thinking about it. Okay. Can I see the card again? You want the, you're looking at the nine? Yeah, the nine. Okay. All right. Did you, get, did you pick anything up? I did. 
I did. I spent some of that cash I would have spent with you, but we couldn't get it done. So you want to do the Kawhi, the Kobe, and some cash? Yeah, those, those two I like. Yeah, yeah. You want to go? You want someone to go check it out now? Okay, so we're going back and forth. We're trying to get a deal done here. I like the idea that I can get a little bit of cash off the table if this works out. Uh, we're still stuck a little bit on what the price of these cards should be. The Bird Magic Julie, Dr. J card that I'm trying to sell him, it has an old PSA label. So he's really doing his due diligence to make sure that it's a legitimate card. I feel like I should sing some Jeopardy music here. Da, 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 da. Are we gonna get this deal done? Come on, what's going on, Kevin? Let's go. Uh, so talk to me, so what are you okay. seeing? Um, the guy, I mean, the expert, he said, uh, he's a little, a little, uh, a little bit iffy on the, like, the frosting over here, but okay. just in case it gets, you know, just in case, I don't know, but he thinks the card is authentic. I would agree to 31.5. I would agree to 20. I would agree to 4,500. But I only want one of those two. So I do. I do that plus that plus 7,000 cash. So it's getting the same total you just asked for. It's just giving me a little more cash. So 7,000 cash in those two cards. I still think you're getting the better end of the deal because honestly, I think if you put that out at auction tomorrow, it's not going to get 20. They spread ashes on the family members. Two people did not. One person, like, they, they ran out the third base and just did it. My wife and I literally sold one of our startups for eight figures, and the negotiation was quicker than what you're seeing right now on this card. What were you thinking again? We had 35. I'm going to put in less cash. I'm negotiating against, uh, what was his name? Kevin Brown. Kevin Brown was low pitcher for you. If you do the three and 3,000, you got a deal. 500 bucks, come on, come on. I'm giving you a, I'm giving you a premium on that Kawhi. I know I am, I know I am. 3K. You good? You good? Awesome. Kevin, we did it. We did it, Kevin. We did it. We did it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I, I, I now need a margarita from the bar to celebrate this. This was crazy. Awesome, good. Whew. There you go. Big negotiation. Good stuff, man. I feel like I aged three years doing that deal with Kevin, but I'm glad we got it done. I'm excited about getting a super low population, high-end Kawhi Leonard card before the playoffs. We'll see what he can do this year. Even if the Clippers don't do much this year, I still love that card for the long term. It's one of his absolute best rookie cards. Sasha, what's up, man? How you doing, brother? Good. It's Good. awesome to meet you, dude. Finally meeting you. Yeah, it's awesome, man. You do a great job on YouTube. You're king, king of the card shows. Appreciate it. You as well. You're killing it. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. What do you think of the market today? What's this been like here? You've been to the last couple Dallas shows, so how does this one feel compared to the others? I think this one's interesting because the PWCC premiere auction ended Thursday night. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of hype leading up to that, and then uh, when we came Friday, it was kind of like a slower type vibe, right? Yeah. Like not a lot of people are willing to put money in. That's my first, that was think, my first reaction. Do you think people are worried because we've seen prices 100%. on some of the key cards 100%. continue to drop? 100%. So people are willing to give up cards they probably wouldn't have like three months ago. Yeah. Um, where for like, for me, like it's cool because I get, I get to buy those cards now, right? Uh, so like, I feel like if you believe in the market right now, it's yeah. a great opportunity. Yeah. Um, I know there's people in their rooms that night that they're, they're like, we're gonna go up to our room and bid on those auctions versus being down here, yeah. right? Because it's ending so low. Yeah. So yeah, some of them did end end pretty low. Yep. But you're still buying, so you're you're optimistic. So what do you like? If you have to project out three months, six months, and of course none of us none of us none can of us none of us know what's gonna happen. Yeah. But what is what is your best guess in terms of where the market goes from here? I think money is getting smarter, uh -huh. and I think that the high end makes a lot of sense to me. The more scarce cards, right? I think that makes a lot of the goat players, right? I think the modern is is going to fluctuate in price, right? You know, you can't. It's a market. It goes up, it goes down, right? So that's going to happen yeah. at the end of the day. So like, where I'm putting my money is always going to be if I'm holding a long term or the high end stuff. Yeah. Um, the modern stuff I just kind of use to flip, right? Yeah, so you flip the modern, you buy the goats, yep. low pop goat yep. cards, yep. hold them long term, and, and you that feel that's going to... And that could go down. Like yeah. It, it could go down 20, 30%, but 
I'm just I'm confident in that market. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I mean, historically, if you go back and look over many, many years, the market for those goat cards, high grade, low pop goat cards, it's gone up and up. And as you said, there will be little dips every now and again. We're going through one right now. But if you zoom out and look, you know, one year, three year, five year, ten year, those are the cards you really can do well with long term. Awesome, man. Hey, keep up the great content, dude. Awesome, awesome. Great to meet you. Take care. I think you wanted to. Hello. Hey. Hi, YouTube. Look, he's, he's YouTube famous now. He's YouTube. What do you want to say to the millions of people out there? Subscribe to Sports Card Investor. <laughs> it's not even a paid endorsement. I love it. Good job. Good job. Oh wow! What are you looking to do with that? Uh, to actually you, trade it. What are you trying to what what uh, what are you trying to trade for? So, I uh, like Kobe, LeBron, MJ kind of stuff. Here. Okay. I'm buy it straight up. Uh, I'll do a trade with you. What what? How much is that worth? Do you so think? So base ten, base Chrome last night. Uh, -huh. uh did eighteen k. Okay. And then so I'm selling this at around thirty five. So I will trade it. Um, okay. Can I see it real quick? Yeah. Do you know what the population is? 24. Pop 24. All right, let me show you my two MJs. Let's go to a table. Okay. Okay, so here's my two Jordans okay. that I brought that I'm willing to do something with. Okay, we have three of these. Okay. This one might be the more interesting one. So there's a extremely low population. Like, I don't, you should look up what the pop is, but it's like next to nothing in a 10 10. Yeah. There's, there's a guy on the show floor, and we should go check with him to make sure that we got the got it right okay. but he said that he sold a 9.5 and I want to verify it was his exact same car but I think it was he said he sold a 9.5 for 28,000 okay. so I had priced that in my mind at 40 which um, which honestly might be a little low if he sold a 9.5 for 28 but I would be willing to do something with that one okay let's see if we can look up the um, pop. pop on that yeah what it says. Is it pop one? Jeez. Pop one. Woo! I might be low on that. <laughs> That's a pop one. No, I think I think you're perfect on it. <laughs> <laughs> pop one Jordan. Yeah. Woo! Goodness gracious. I didn't realize it was a pop one. I should have looked up the pop report. I knew it was low because I've never seen it sell. But I did not realize that was a pop one card. Oh man. Did you have any interest in this by chance? If we were to like make up value or whatever? Third year Kobe nine. I think a BGS nine just did forty five hundred. We were willing to value this at like five K. This PSA is doing a little bit better than BGS, we feel that's fair. Oh man, that's got a rough corner. I'm actually oh, surprised yeah. I got a nine. Yeah. Wow. No idea. I just picked it up actually. So. Yeah, that's a yeah, rough that, corner. Yeah. Because I was just thinking like, all right, centering's a little off, but maybe. Yeah. That's you know, rough. but the front looks pretty good, and I was like, oh, yikes. Great today. I think it was great. I feel like PSA standards are changing a little bit. Yeah, we got we're going to the big stuff now. We got to got to get real here. So this is uh, the rest of the high end stuff I have right here. All right. If we're willing to, if we if we price the Jordan at forty, which I'm now nervous about given that that's a pop one but if we price that at 40 yeah. i would price this at 30. Okay. double the bgs 95 um in terms of like trade value yeah. so i'd want to make up a 10k difference so, if, if, if we can make up a 10k difference then i'd be willing to i think i can you uh you're cool with the 30 right I think we could trade a, maybe like a true gem or a, I don't know what Jordan's stick is doing, we could do a true gem from LeBron. That's so what, what do you have, you got a, a true gem chrome LeBron? I think last did 97, we can make up the, the 300 in cash if you want. I'm using the Market Movers app here to look up, someone's been bouncing around a lot. Yeah, last one of those went at auction for 89.88. Uh, was that just a last couple of days? 89, and then one went, yeah, 89, 88, 9,700, 8,800, 9,000. So it's right around, a, you know, it probably depends a little bit on the subs. That one's a true gem. So I don't know what this 80, let me see what the subs were on this one that went for 8,900. Yeah, let's see. the last true gem. 
Yeah. It wasn't a true gem. True gems. Uh, might be a little bit. Might be a little bit more. Maybe that 97 is a true gem. Yeah. What's that? The 97. Let me see if the 97 was a true gem. 9.5 yeah. gem plus 10 oh, centering. Wow. Okay. So that one's a little higher. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's a value somewhere in between, probably. Yeah. Um, what if what, this one? What's that? Oh yeah, because the corner. Not yeah, not okay. as much. Okay. That corner is pretty dinged in the back. So I would do. Um, so I would do that. That. And a thousand cash, or I'd be willing to throw in like one more card that you think's around that value. Thirty and nine versus forty. How much would you with with the recognition that both of these are a little uncertain. What about if we were to give you the main gem, what would you value that? At? Or you just want the true gem? Are you guys thinking cash for the difference, or are you thinking uh, cards for the difference? I mean, we don't have any thousand dollar cards. I have these two Randy Mosses, Top Scroll and Ten bases. I'll take a look at them. Let me see them. So like those are like five each, six each. This three of them. You can pick out whichever one you think is the best. If you don't want to do cash, would you do two of these? And uh, those four for it. Can we maybe swap these? Awesome. You want to swap those? Okay. I think that would flinch it for us probably, right? Yeah. Yeah. Plus two Randy Okay. I'll do it. Right. You got a deal. You. you got a deal. Appreciate Good deal, guys. Appreciate Good deal. You. Absolutely. That's a big trade. That's yeah. a big trade. It's a $40,000 trade right there. Awesome. Thank you. Good right, deal. You. Once again. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, for sure. It was nice to meet you guys. So the Dallas Cart Show has been absolutely great. We're spending another great deal here. We're going to get ready to do some big deals today on the floor. Dude. Lubox hey. Lu hey. TV, Gin and Juice. Yeah. What are you doing to me, man? Well, we're Why are you wearing my shirt? We're wearing it because we're, we, we're just telling everybody we're going to pass you and subscribers very soon. Very soon. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah. I challenge you oh. to a pack battle. Let's do it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got to call him the judge. Get in here. We need the judge. <laughs>